All right, guys, Goofmaster79 here coming at you with the uh, part two of my collection update. Uh, I decided it got up to like 13, 14 minutes, first one, so that's kind of ridiculous. So I just made a part two because I can. And uh, this is going to be covering the uh, Zeta, or Zeta, Zeon uh, mobile armor stuff and then the stuff on my bed that's just like not in boxes and whatever. So uh, as you can see, my biggest part of my collection is my Zeon stuff. I just, I'm going to have another shelf being put in right here. Uh, just to fit them all on here because this is ridiculous. I have too many Xeon figures um, Which is the pride of my collection though, so you know starting from one corner and uh, here we have a bunch of the Char Asnable suits or as novel or whatever you want to call them. Uh, this is the uh, Gundam That I, I did the review on this is the Battle of Rum Sharzaku 2 and you can see it doesn't have the commander horn Which is really cool and the red matches up perfectly with this uh, Gundam figure. Let's see if I can get the light up here a little bit better. Alright, we have the uh, American second release, dark red re release, or whatever you want to call it, um, Sharzaku 2. There's the pink first release. There's the Japanese Sharzagak, the American Sharzagak, and the Okawara color Sharzagak. We have the Battle Scar GPO2 and the regular GPO2. We have American and Japanese. Charles Gelgug, two Gelgug cannons, both of them are American. Uh, one of the, I think one of these is Japanese and one of them's American. Uh, Guyans or Guyan or whatever you want to say. Um, three Goof Customs. The first one in the front here is the American. These back two are both Japanese. Um, in the front here we have a custom Charles or er, custom um, <clears throat> Johnny Ridden's Zagak that I made a while back. Uh, the paint looks a little too glossy. I'd probably go over that with like some sort of clear coat that makes it like a matte finish. But, I mean, if you want to see a review on it, let me know. I mean, that's basically it right there. Um, two Johnny Ridden's uh, High Mobility Zaku 2s. Uh, don't have a version 2 of it yet, but I'm actually getting one in the mail eventually. Um, it's part of the one box I'm getting. Uh, the High Mobility, er, High Mobility, uh, the, uh, what is it? Um, I'm drawn by Extended uh, Mobile Suit in Action uh, Johnny Ridden's Zaku, er, Gelgug. Uh, this is the Elliot Lem Custom uh, High Mobility Zaku 2. This is one of those mail away exclusives from Japan. Uh, it comes with this really sweet beam rifle, and this is the only figure that you can get that beam rifle with, which is pretty interesting. There's the Gabi Hazard um, Zaku 2, a high mobility type. Here's some goofs and whatnot. I'll get to those in a minute. There's three Battle Scarred Zaku 1s, a ba regular Battle Scarred Zaku, or regular Zaku 1. Um, I have. I have Oh yeah, here's another one. He's like hidden back here. Um, there's Gato's Gelgug. There's two regular Gelgugs. There's uh, Garmazabi's Zaku 2. Um, there's a couple Zaku 2s here. The version 1s. One of them's Japanese here. And the rest are American. Uh, there's the Camouflage Zaku 1. Uh, these goofs and all the blue kind of stuff. I just noticed this guy was like sideways. And his gun fell out of his hand. I'll just set that aside here. So, um, but yeah, this is a, a panel lined one that I did. This is the Japanese goof, the American goof, and uh, this is the Zaku one refit that uh, Joshua Gundama made. And this is the regular Zaku one um, Rama Rao custom. This is the extended goof, and back here I have my custom um, Rama Rao's Gelgun. And there's the Okawara color goof. Back here we have the Humbrabi and the Gaza C. The Haman Karn type and then the regular type. Uh, we have a um, high Zok in the back there, just kind of hiding out. Um, back up front, we have the Zuda units. Let's see if I can take a light over here some more. Of the Zuda units, we have all four uh, Zuda 1, Zuda 2, Zuda 3, and Zuda 4. So and we have some Doms going on here. Oh, we also have the uh, Zaku 2 version 2 with the uh, armor or with the um, add-on accessory kit stuff. So uh, we have the Doms, they're doing the jet stream attack here. Uh, we have the fourth Dom here, and then we have the Okawara color Dom. We have that transforming Zaku tank, Zaku thing. Uh, Desert Goof, I have four Desert Doms? Jeez, I did not have that many. Um, so yeah, four Desert Doms. Um, three regular colored Gogs, uh, one of them's Japanese, that one right here. He's Japanese, and the submarine color gog. Uh, we have the Zia or the the Zox in the back. Uh, I think one of them's Japanese. 
Um, we have three comp fairs, one, two, and three. He's kind of hidden. Then we have this. And we have the, uh, this is, I love this figure. I don't know why, but there's just something about it. I just love it. The uh, Herbert von Kuspen, um, Galgog high mobility type. This is the Yumiko Shaku Yu Suzaku 2. This is the exclusive I was telling you about. The whole figure is made out of this translucent plastic, and anything that isn't this translucent plastic is painted over, which is really cool. It gives the figure a really odd, like, texture, uh, but it's really cool. You can see, like, the shoulder is pink, the tubes, or the conduction cables on the head are pink. It's got, like, these pink hearts on the machine gun and the shoulder. Uh, the chest is all that see-through, or not see-through, like transparent plastic. Um, it's just a really cool figure, and it's very, very, very pink. So we have the high mobility, uh, or not high mobility, Gelgu Cannon, rather. We have three at guys. One of them's Japanese. He's the Japanese one's in the back there. One hiding right there, and then three Zagaks. Two of them are American. One of them is Japanese. We have the uh, Zamal in the back there, too, just chilling out. Um, I believe that's everything so far. I have the Battle Scar Ziong up here. He's holding a Coke bottle that I just had a little plastic Coke bottle I had laying around. And uh, the regular uh, Ziong just kind of chilling out there. And now on to the uh, mobile armor stuff. So, start over here. We have my perfect Ziong that uh, I actually won Joshua Gundamu's contest with, uh, which is really cool. So thank you, Joshua Gundamu, and uh, congratulations to the other winners and the runners-up. You all did uh, very nice videos. I, I mean, I watched all of them. They were all very good. I didn't really expect to win, to be honest. So um, we have the uh, the gallop that I panel lined here with the Gundam marker, and I think it just looks phenomenal with panel lining on it. I love it. Uh, we have the uh, um, I'm trying to big row. I think so. Yeah, big row. Uh, he's also panel lined. Looks pretty neat. We have the Big Zom. And we have the Psycho Gundam and the Zacrello. We have the um, Base Jabber that has the uh, new Gundam's uh, rocket bed boosters on the back. Uh, I forgot about these guys. These are Black Tri-Star Zaku 2s. Uh, I don't have room for them on my uh, shelf, so I just leave them up there for now. And uh, back there you have the Elmeth, a G Fighter, and a, uh, another Gun Parry that is uh, panel lined. So... That's about it for my shell for you know in my closet these shelves and whatnot you know you saw the uh, carded figures box figures uh, all the Xeon stuff Federation uh, Federation and all this stuff was in the uh, first part so check out part one if you want to see that uh, now I'll show you the stuff that I have on uh, the bed here this is just I don't want to say junk but this is like I keep all the accessories all my figures in Ziploc baggies that I'm not using um, like that's the uh, GM Marine. You see, like, that's the, you know, just stuff like that. So, uh, I have some box stuff here. More box stuff here. This is just uh, random G Gundam stuff. That's all the Universal Century stuff. That's just some random boxes I have. Um, so one of the old HCM Isaacs. Uh, box for that. And a bunch of these old MS and Pocket figures from uh, Victory Gundam, which are pretty cool. That's the uh, Seed um, Arch Enemy figure. Then this is just more junk. This is like the Shars counterattack and stuff. Um, this is uh, the HCM Pro Goof Custom. Uh, you know the Arch Enemy stuff. Uh, more. This is all my Wing Gundams. I forgot that I had like a huge box of Wing Gundam stuff. So um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, I have. But, but I mean, what it is, what it is. That's all the Gundam figures I have. Um, the one coming in the mail, in case you didn't guess already, is the uh, GPO3. Um, I originally got it like two months ago, and then a part of it broke, like right out of the box, and then the guy was nice enough to, uh, he had two of them, so he returned it and let me return mine, and then he sent, he's sending me a new one. So uh, I originally had him just sitting on top of here, you know, facing this way, facing towards you, and um, yeah, so, I mean, I figured you, you guys would find out anyway, so yeah, I have the GPO3, Stamen and Orcus coming. Um, so yeah, that's my collection. Um, it's not huge, but there's definitely a lot of figures, I think, and uh, I'm proud of every single one of them, you know. Um, like I said, if you see any that you want a review on, let me know, and that way I can, you know, get to making reviews for you. I'm free this coming week here, so I should be making quite a number of videos. Um, so just any figure you want to see, uh, I know I have a review for that one, the uh, Yumiko Shaku. Uh, Zaku 2 version 2 recorded, but I just haven't uploaded it. And I uh, have a review for a couple of other figures. Um, 
So I'll get on that as soon as possible. Looks pretty cool. Anyway, um, I was thinking about doing uh, reviews for the uh, Robot Damashi guys, but I'm not sure. So um, thanks for watching. I guess so. If like I said, just send me any requests you have for any reviews. Um, once I get the GPO3, I'll make a review and a collection update because I'm expecting some more package uh, figures in that package. So. Once I get that, you guys will know, and until then, thanks for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed my collection update video, uh, it could use some work, and I have some more shelves coming in that I'm going to be putting right there, um, so, hopefully it'll keep expanding, and so will your guys' collections, or guys and girls' collections keep expanding. So, until next time, thanks for watching, uh, I'll make another update video when I get more stuff, and until then... Uh, Semper Fi Marines.